All right, you guys are probably all taught basically to turn slightly sideways on the forehand volley, plant your outside foot, and then step forward with the opposite foot or step across with the opposite foot, right? So that's the traditional teaching is outside foot, step across and hit. Don't swing, just kind of push the ball, which I think is okay when you're learning, but I think we have to realize that it's not necessarily what is going on with a lot of the pros. Here's Jamie Murray. This guy is probably one of the best doubles player in the world. So needless to say, I think he can volley. He's won Grand Slam titles and doubles. And if you notice his technique, a little different. Is he stepping forward? No, is the ball like coming super fast at him? Not really. What is the other thing he's doing? And this is something that I promote. He has almost more of a ground stroke technique. Notice on almost every single ball, his handle is pulled upwards. Certainly on low balls, but you'll see he'll get some balls at uh, a little bit higher as well. And those handle continues to go up. There's one that was a little bit higher. Handle goes up, handle goes up, handle goes up. That's a perfect example. So this is almost like a forehand ground stroke. And there's some major advantages to this. When a player hits a backspin ball to you and you don't have this type of technique, it's very likely the ball is going to go in the net. There's almost zero negatives to this technique. Um, so I've, I found it personally to help me with my volleys is to swing more upwards on the volley and see how low he sets his racket? I think the reason is because he goes upwards on most of his volleys. So if you set your racket tip up high, let's see if I can get him back in the ready position. See how low his racket tip is? I think most coaches tell you to, to have it up by your eyes. Well, the first move when you have it up by your eyes typically is to like, got, you have to go down normally because the ball is coming over the net and it's very rarely is the ball going to be rising when it comes over the net. It's almost always going to be descending. So your racket is going down with a descending ball. And that's why a lot of volleys just, just float. So I also wanted to show Federer here. And we can just see, you know, does he follow the same footwork pattern? I mean... Sometimes he will step across or step forward. But if you watch Federer, if you've ever seen him live, there's a slight step. But he doesn't he doesn't do this prescriptive technique that all the coaches taught you when you were, you know, 7 years old learning how to how to volley. So I guess my point is that for the volley don't follow these super prescriptive techniques. Um, it's very much a feel shot. You have to be able to coordinate your body, get the racket behind the ball, and and try to win that collision. And when I say win that collision, I mean that you're 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 redirecting the ball. You know, you're doing something with it. For for Jamie Murray, what is he doing? Well, he's, he's kind of brushing up. Federer doesn't really do that. Federer, Federer typically slices most of his volleys. So that means he pulls the handle inwards. Did you notice that? Go back. Almost all his uh, volleys, he pulls the handle back into his body. So it's got a little bit of side spin. But he keeps that handle, you know, going to contact so he can win that win that collision and redirect the ball. So I just wanted to show you guys these few examples here. If you're struggling with balls that are going into the net, try the Jamie Murray technique. Um, 
If you're struggling with your footwork, then just try to try to try to focus more on getting side to side correct before you start stepping forward. If you have time to step forward, absolutely. No there's no problem, but I think what a lot of rec players do is they're kind of hardwired. Oh, a coach told me to step in. Well, if you didn't get in the right position and then you stepped in, then you 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 crowded yourself. You've got to you got to you got to create the space first. Then if you have time, you can step in. So hopefully that was helpful.